saying this game is loud. <laughs> there we go. What's going on, all you beautiful YouTube people? My name is Soggy Waffles, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be playing Fears to Fathom Iron Bark Lookout. It's a psychological horror game where you're a park ranger, I guess, it's supposed to be happening. May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching you watching a YouTuber play Fears to Five in the Carson House. Correct? What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so much doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Interesting. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This is one of the times I transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Okay. Oh, I get to drive? Hey! Uh. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, shit. Wait. Oh. oh, we gotta pull over real quick. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday, just park your truck around by the gravel by the gate. D, got it. Uh, on foot, take the go green trail from there. Take a couple hours, you reach the tower. Okay, got the you'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show me your ID. Look at Still on my way in the van. Decided to pull over that tire on me today. Isn't it late? If I don't start to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Yeah. Check me out. <clears throat> I live a very solitary life. Yo. Driving my RV. Going up to the camp, you see. Yeah. It helps me quiet my mind and keep the memories at bay. This thing got horsepower. Listen to the horsepower. Look at look at this. Zero to sixty. Here we go. I saw the diner killer was talking about. Okay, let's pull up in here. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get it up. Oh, we can. Let's check this diner out, though. Uh, all right, let's go inside. Yeah. Sir, why are you eating that burger like that? Welcome to Twin Winter Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Not too bad. Free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Now let's, let's go sit over here. Here we go. Uh, can I see the menu, please? Are you just bringing me a food already? Did I order? I think I ordered, right? Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? So she said we gotta try the cheeseburger with fries. They got grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings and meatball sub with chicken. What did it? Ah, 
our burger is the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? You know we gotta get that strawberry slush. Perfect. Anything else? That will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. Thank you. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> okay, eh? When we pee on the toilet seat. Oh! There we go. These suckers got one, two, three, four, five. They got six things on the menu. And four drinks. <laughs> oh, is that my food? Ma'am, hey, you you bring me no napkins? Oh, never mind. Thank you. Ooh. Drink that strawberry slush up. Hey man, I say drink the whole thing. Dang. I figured it'll be a while before I had a meal like this again. those french fries so did you end up going how was it i'm here still eating this is so good like how does she know i'm here told you he, he. oh my gosh why she come out of the did you enjoy the food yeah it was great would you like to have anything else or should i get the check check please okay i'll be right back Thanks. Wow, yes, I'm on my way home. Send you send you in a bit. I don't even know what that means. Get up, get up, get up. We're running out of here. We're not paying. We're not paying. Get up. Is this the place? No, this can't be it. Are we here? <laughs> Holy moly, you scare me. I thought you were one of them. You scare me. May Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit or please leave? Uh, you're Billy, right? I'm the new transfer. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, no. Hang on. Let me check on that. Oh, this man scared the freak out of me, bro. Okay, pal. You're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But there are the keys. Give me those keys. Tower keys. Let me open the trail for you. <laughs> Do I get a flashlight? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike. careful take this welcome to iron bark pal now for our purposes when you get to your tower be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely if need be you can reach out to tower 12 during your staffing nice enough guy he'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency thank you Billy Hey, this piece of advice, don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that may 
that way, pal. Bobcats and barrows. Nasty business. You got it. How am I supposed to know how far am I supposed to go? I left my bag in the RVs at first. Did I leave the door open on the RV? Oh, guys, we're going to get killed, bruh. my bag where's my bag oh there it is we're those type of people guys we leave the car unlocked now all of a sudden our bathroom on our rv is suspiciously sus uh sus suspicious eh? it's, it's making me think a lot smart guy you get what i'm saying Hello? What happened? Eleven thirty two PM. Okay, I where am I? Tower eleven, up this way over the bridge. Why would I throw my flashlight? See, if this was me, oh, Golden Creek Trail Tower. Let's get to the tower. Tower's right here. Hey! Dang! What's this? My hands were full. Okay. Let's uh let's put this on the bed. There we go. Oh, I can look out the window. In the furnace. Can't see. Is it generator? Oh the generator's right there. Okay. generator turn that on now we got power okay all right cool so now we got power right oh that's the window oh god how i run past the door Bruh. It's kind of hard seeing without a flashlight. There we go. There we go. Close that door. All right. Let's clock in, guys. Static. Okay. Multicolored Digi Research Analyzing AZC. Starting Rainbow 9-8. Rainbow Nominee Tower 11. Uh, password is password. Check the iron bark fl rule flyer. Okay. Where's that at? That's it. Lights out after 12. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. System password is Iron Bark. Tyro number. Uh, okay. We're at Tyro 11. Okay. Refuel generator is cleanly updating report software. No video games in system. Remember to call lost system location before you sleep. Got it. Iron Bark Tower 11. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. Helps to make here to help you make the most of your computer. Okay. Clickety click, 
here's a random fact for you. Antarctica is the windiest continent on Earth, with some coastal areas experiencing winds research reaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. How can I make your day better? Okay. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What? What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. What? Yeah. How does that work? Wow. Okay. Alright. Bro, I'll keep throwing like Welcome to the New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Uh I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower Eleven alive again. Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. I'm Connor. Fire Tower Twelve. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Uh just look for a change. Where did I get wood from? Do I gotta go chop the wood? Oh! Well, I got matches every... How do we start a fire? No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The stabber really? who was in the lookout before you. She was... One gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay, so I got a storage shack. I got gasoline right here. My hands were full. Bro, throw that down. Oh, there's wood there. Nah. We gotta take the wood upstairs and put it into the into the furnace and then we gotta go back. I left the gasoline downstairs. I left the, <laughs> I left the gasoline downstairs. Guys. What's that furnace? Pour gas in here. Oops. <laughs> we gonna blow up, bro. This is so bad. Where's my where's my matches? Where are my matches? Where are my matches? saying that. Did you report for the night yet? No. Better get report. to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. The right weather condition? How do I know what the weather condition is? Dude, get this off the screen! Oh my gosh, I can't get off the screen. Oh well, we're just gonna go to sleep. Oh my gosh. 3.26 a.m.
First off, where's my Let me turn the light on? Hold on. Where's my flashlight? Why did my flashlight disappear? Oh my gosh. There it is. My first night being out of the cab gave me strange feelings. I got great accuracy. I don't know why we had to. <laughs> um, uh... Night two. It's just you, the wind. <sighs> Take a photo. We got a camera. Dang, you know we're a photographer over here. Yeah, drink that. I'm just standing here sipping. <laughs> it's so windy out there. Wait. Hey guy, you copy? This is Connor from Tower 12. You What's up, Connor? Tower 11. Do you copy? Son of a bitch. Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Have a look. I get to use the Bernox. Right, put this coffee cup down. Turn that off. Yeah, I see it. Why am I going out there? Alright, give me my bear spray. Drop this. Give me my bear spray. We're spraying somebody. I knew it. I should have brought. Oh my gosh. I followed the show that led me to the smoke.
Hello? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, we're, we're, no, 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 no. We're going back. We can't. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I need to put out the campfire behind. Why I gotta put the campfire out? Oh my gosh. I have to put it out. Well, how do you put it out? I had to get water to put it out. Oh my gosh. We about to die. Hey, drop that. I'm spraying you. You better not run up on me. Yeah, whistle that way. Who's that? Who's that? Oh my gosh. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? No, God! No, God, please, no! Get up there. Hey, why is these open? Close these. No, no, no. There's nobody here. up there no 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 why'd you get up get back loud and clear new guy i was just cooking myself some hot well first what's your status are you kidding me son of a bitch they never learn do they i'm sick of these bastards it's unbelievable this is the third time this month alone anything else you notice in those woods a scream must have been one of those red foxes I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Okay, so months ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trail we don't know. Their parents said some whistle let them off the trail. It's unbelievable. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Uh... You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. You guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? No. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Goons? If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Get me off of here. Get me off of here. All right, temperature is 50.6. All right, let's go ahead and do our. Nah, I got time for that. Uh... Oh, I got. I'm so jelly. What a view, by the way. What do I got? Oh, made me the cat. Wait, are we dating? Kayla and I are, are we dating? I will. Nineteen knots still. Sheesh. Uh, nineteen. Oh my gosh. Look at my bear spray. Oh, I can't pick it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm so scared to be out here. 
please don't be behind me. Get it and go. Get it and go. Oh, I'm so scared. Get me back in here. Get me back in here. Yeah, we didn't see nothing, guys. We did not see nothing. There we go. There we go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Place that in there. Uh, I'm not going for no gas. We've got gas right here, baby. Pour that up in there like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Let's turn this light off. We're going to bed, bro. I was too hungry without food. Wait, what food? Oh, we got food in here? Dang. Ingredients. Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese. Or 20 degrees. Okay, uncooked pasta. Uncooked pasta. Marinara sauce. Uh, pepperoni. Where would pepperoni be? Would that be in the refrigerator? Oh, that's mozzarella. Mozzarella. What is this? Pepperoni. And then, uh, pepperoni, mozzarella, and then diced tomatoes. Potato pops. What's that? Yeah. There you go. I threw everything out the refrigerator on the ground. And then, bow. I put everything on the floor. Let's see. Put it back in the refrigerator. In there. New guy. You there? Oh, that's good. New guy. Yeah. Mm. Just reported their ass to the authorities. Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Got we'll it. track them down and give them peace of mind. Okay. Tell so you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day. Uh huh. I like eating in bed. You don't eat this whole tray in your bed? Ugh. I was already full. Man, you ate half of the tray, bro. Okay. Guess we, uh, <laughs> two twenty-seven AM. I was woken by the feeling caused by woken by the feeling of something that caused. <gasps> Get up. Hi. What's going on guys? Voice over waffles here. So I didn't know what I was doing on this part. I literally sat under the bed for like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna skip ahead to the next part. I'm gonna go grab the bed.
Oh my gosh. Did he leave? Hello? Do we gotta go outside and check? I think we gotta go outside and check. My motherfucker. Where's my brass spray? Are we supposed to go outside? Wait, how do we know if the door is locked? Contact Connor. You have any idea what time it is? Just couldn't wait until morning. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. You watch too many horror movies. You think it's not getting carried away, new guy? Oh no my gosh. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. You better get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. Wait, is my door locked? There's not much dark either. Night three. Alright, you guys, we're gonna end it here on night three. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed Fears to Fathom Iron Bar Lookout so far. If you guys like the content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like button. Also, greatly appreciate it. My name was Saki Wall. So, until next time, my brothers and sisters.